Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha if you are new here and I'm finally picking up this vlog camera I feel like it has been so so long since I have vlogged especially in our new place But in today's video, I want to basically just share a little bit about my like weight loss journey as well as a Mini what I eat in a day. I don't really exactly know what this video will entail The, the title probably says more than what I'm saying right now Hey guys, so just cutting in, I totally forgot to mention this in the vlog, but I have a couple quick announcements. So first, very exciting. For those of you who weren't able to snatch up the Aisha Haroon X Wall Chic collection, the hijab collab that I came out with Wall Chic before it sold out last month, it is officially restocked both on the US and international website as well as the Canadian website. So you can get your hands on this finally. Both Blushing Queen and Safari Dream is fully restocked. I did announce it on my Instagram probably about a week ago now So I will say that if you did want to get it I would get it quickly because they're selling out very quick And this is the last time that we're restocking and this collab is completely done But thank you so much to everyone who has supported already whether you've purchased whether you've not purchased and you've just shared a Supporting message. I really really appreciate it But this announcement is just for those who wanted to be notified and I will have a link down below where you guys can purchase this directly Make sure if you are Canadian you are shopping from the Canadian Canadian website so you can afo avoid um, any duties and fees so and then of course if you're US or international you can shop there as well and they do ship everywhere I always get questions about whether you guys ship or whether Wall Chic ships to Kenya Nigeria Sweden a bunch of other African countries as well as Europe Asia everywhere they ship everywhere guys so you can get it and then the second announcement that I have is that I Finally listed all those items that you guys saw me declutter from my closet on Poshmark So I think I listed about like 30 to 40 items. I can't remember but there will be more I'm just waiting for these ones to sell out first So a lot has already gone But if you guys want to shop my closet and shop some items that have been very very gently used or have been never Have never been worn like maybe I've taken a photo of it or even just like tried it on never wore it outside They're very very heavily discounted. So be sure to check it out uh, the sizes kind of range from like I think there's like one dress that's a size six, but majority of them are a large to extra large or um, a size 10 or 12. Um, and I think there might be like one or two mediums in there as well. So um, if you are curvy or if you like to dress more modestly and like a larger oversized fit, then definitely be sure to shop my Poshmark. I will have the link down below as well. Anyways, let's resume the video. I have a little bit of time to just kind of chat with you I just came back from the grocery store So I want to share some of the groceries a lot of you guys have noticed that I have lost weight recently And I will get into that a little later in the video, but 2020 is off to a great start So I still haven't eaten breakfast. It's almost 12 p.m. So I need to get on that You know what? I think I'm gonna start with that first before I show you guys the groceries because currently the groceries are down there As you can see, but I feel like it's gonna take super long for me to like actually talk it all through So I'm going to make my smoothie first with you guys and then we will go into the grocery making But this is basically a smoothie that I've been making for the past couple weeks or so I try to have it like every single morning some mornings I don't some mornings I'll just have like a protein bar and I will show you guys which one that is but for the most part I do have this smoothie every single day because it just gives me protein um, my trainer recommended that I have these shakes in the morning as well so I do it first thing I do is I have recently switched to unsweetened coconut milk instead of almond milk um, because I'm gonna say a lot I'm gonna say my trainer a lot in this video because she really helped me with this whole kind of like lifestyle change um, But I recently switched over because she said that almond milk has a lot of sodium in it and it does so this coconut milk has considerably less So that's why I started using it. I use about That much It's supposed to be a cup, but I feel like that's probably more than a cup. But yeah, this has like eight, 45 milligrams of sodium as opposed to like, I think the almond milk had like 80 milligrams for the same serving. So if you are someone watching your weight, then sodium is a good way um, of starting because sodium holds on to bloat and you will just, you won't really see as big of a difference if you are constantly eating a lot of salt. So this is the protein that I like to use. I get it from Sprouts, but you can also get it on Amazon. Um, it's actually cheaper on Amazon, but it's the Garden of Life Sport and specifically the sport version. This is a plant-based protein. So it's vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, no added sugar. And and you get 30 grams of protein per serving, which is two scoops. So that's pretty good. 
whey protein it just doesn't settle well in my stomach and it's also not that great for you apparently i don't know why but i like the plant-based protein more so i do roughly two scoops of that this is the chocolate flavor i like to get all my protein uh powders in chocolate i just feel like it tastes the best so um yeah this is about i don't know how many calories it is 85 calories per scoop so like 170 calories and to that i add a good handful of spinach i don't want to hear anybody clocking me for not <laughs> washing my spinach because I buy the triple wash and I know you should still wash it but I don't because I'm a lazy bee so I do a good handful of that I like to add spinach in like a lot of my meals so depending on what I make today there will likely be a lot of spinach in it and then I use a scoop or actually two tablespoons each or two teaspoons each of spirulina powder and chlorella powder my trainer also recommended this so that's why I started using it. This one is by the Alginist brand, which is technically a skincare brand, but they sent this in a PR package and I've been using it and it works great in my smoothies. Oh, and by the way, yes, you guys will be getting an update on my apartment. I know it's taken a while. I just haven't really had time to like film anything about my apartment. And then these are just some bananas that I cut up and froze. I like to do about, oh, a third or usually a half of a banana i cut these into thirds though so yeah like about a half of a frozen banana and then i also put some frozen strawberries put about like four i like to put some almond butter yeah, it doesn't have as much salt which is great it has actually zero milligrams of sodium so just make sure you're getting like the dry roasted or the raw almonds make sure they don't have any other ingredients in them so i do about a tablespoon of that and then I add some ice it's probably too much ice but that's okay this is what it's looking like and then I just top it off with water I made a little extra this time usually I get it like right on point but I don't know I, I think I put a little too much um, coconut milk but while I drink this I'm gonna unpack all my groceries Yes, I usually use re uh, reusable bags, but I completely forgot to put them in my car before I left. I didn't think I was going to go grocery shopping, so I had to use plastic ones, unfortunately. But we do reuse them for like trash and like other things. All right, so this is everything that I got. Um, I mainly shopped for me. <laughs> okay, so one thing that I started doing was just making sure that I have a ton of vegetables available for me and just like ready to go and eat. And unfortunately for me, that means buying things that are already like packaged instead of just buying the actual like vegetable. I don't know, for whatever reason, I just have a super busy lifestyle and I just like doing it this way and it keeps me accountable into what I eat. So I love to keep these veggie trays in the fridge because I will just like literally have these for lunch sometimes with some rotisserie chicken which I also got this is some kosher rotisserie chicken that I get at Ralph's the Ralph's on 3rd and La Brea has kosher rotisserie and yeah so I will literally just make a veggie plate with hummus and eat that for my lunch or dinner sometimes I got some chicken broth this one is for me it's the reduced sodium as I mentioned I try to have as little sodium as possible I got some Kaiser rolls are also from Hamad that's not important and then I wanted to try I've been trying more coconut yogurt so dairy-free yogurts and this one is by the Chobani brand. I used to really like Chobani's regular Greek yogurt, so I figured I might as well try this too. So I just got vanilla and then also some plain. So I'm gonna be having those for like breakfast or as a snack or something with some berries. I have some tomatoes that I like to put in my salad, cherry tomatoes, whoops. Um, I have some guacamole. I know I could easily make this, but again, I'm lazy, okay. I have some butter lettuce. Butter lettuce is like my favorite type of green to eat with salad. I'll usually mix this in a little bit of spinach um, and then, you know, put some veggies and onions and stuff on top. I have some broccoli. I like to make roasted broccoli for myself and Muhammad. These are amazing. I love beets. <laughs> funny that it's actually called love beets but this is the mild vinegar flavor and oh my god these taste so good i literally just have like three little bulbs um with my dinner with some like other veggies and stuff and it's just so so tasty i got some hummus for the veg plate and then i just got some oranges because I'm not trying to catch the coronavirus 
try to pack as much vitamin C in me as possible. I have some red onion that I like to put on salad. Blueberries, I always have blueberries on hand because I just freaking love them. They're so good. And I will mention later the little like, I guess, I don't even know what to call it, but the the rule that I have to live by after a certain time of day in terms of fruit And I'll get all into that hopefully later on in this video right now though I just have to hurry because I have a photo shoot in an hour and a half. I still haven't put my makeup on I have some mushrooms, which I like to eat for dinner I'll probably have that tonight or something and then these are just really random I just saw that they were on sale So I wanted to try it and they don't have any bad sugar like it has one gram of sugar But it's like erythritol which is uh, a low glycemic or sugar or something like that I don't know anyways. I just wanted to try it and then some pickles. Yeah pickle and pickles I didn't realize have like a crap ton of sodium in them So make sure you're checking the label This was the least amount of sodium I could find and then these so these are the only kind of like carby thing my trainer allows me to have they're like rice crackers This isn't the exact brand that she usually recommends that one's at sprouts But I didn't have time to go there today, but I found these and they are still pretty good The ones at sprouts are just completely sodium free like salt free these ones obviously have salt in them But surprisingly quite low on salt, which is really good. So for each serving, it's, uh, for the sea salt one at least, it's, um, so 15 crackers, I usually don't even have 15, I'll have like 5 to 7, um, but that is 80 milligrams of, um, sodium, so that's not too bad. And then this one, I think, is just a little bit more sodium, which is funny because this one's literally called sea salt, but 130 calories for 17 crackers. And then this, I will cut up and basically use throughout the week. I, this isn't the only meat that I use. I have like frozen shrimp and fish and beef and stuff in the freezer, but I like to just have this on hand in the fridge because I literally snack on this. I'll have it for lunch, for dinner, just everything. Okay, I completely forgot to show you guys one thing actually. I also got this which is the so delicious dairy free brand and they have this vanilla bean coconut milk yogurt or um Ice cream, so I thought that I would give this a try. I'm trying to avoid dairy, so this was pretty good on calories It's like two-thirds of a cup is 130 calories, which I thought was pretty good and it's with coconut milk There's only let's see two grams of sugar per serving so Not too bad. Let's get real because <laughs> I had a real reality check in this video because I thought that I would have had like this perfect what I eat in a day. I feel like every single what I eat in a day that I do, I start off like not wanting to put a lot of pressure on myself and then the video ends up being like, you know, properly placed things on my meals. It just has to look perfect because I feel like that's kind of what majority of what I eat in a day's look like on YouTube at least. Sorry, this is crooked and it's driving me insane. It's 4.58, basically 5 p.m. and I'm still on my breakfast meal, which means it's been like five hours since I had this and that is the reality of most of my days. If I don't wake up and have breakfast right away, the day just kind of gets so busy. You guys know I work from home, I do social media, I have my YouTube channel, I'm constantly emailing, sometimes I'm working with my assistant, my photographer, my videographer. It's just, it's a busy day and unfortunately eating <laughs> is placed on the back burner, which I know isn't the smartest or the healthiest. But here I am finishing my smoothie. Anyways, I also realized I'm, I'm having like a girl's night tonight. So I'm going over to my friend's house. And it's probably not the smartest to do a what I eat in a day today. Because I want to show you guys what I actually have been eating to lose weight. And like, I usually eat the same thing. So I feel like that video will actually be super helpful if, to you guys. But anyways, I just wanted to sit here, give you guys a little update. Basically, at the end of November, I contacted a personal trainer here in LA. Her name is Rachel, shout out to Rachel RC Fit on Instagram. And she's been amazing. We've been working together since December to now February, so about two months. We've had like 12 or 13 sessions together. Rachel basically just gave me a straight up list and was like, here are all the things you need to cut out of your diet and stop eating. And a lot of it was like junk food, pizza, cheese, dairy, you know, cheesecake, like all that kind of stuff, all the stuff that I love. And over the past two months, I would say I stuck to that list probably about 50% of the time. Also like no carbs, no bread not even quinoa, like things like that. So it was difficult for me. It was also around the holidays. I was super stressed with work as you guys know. Um, So I didn't really stick to that. I, I stuck to it about like 50% of the time, but majority of the time I was being mindful with what I ate. So if I was gonna indulge in something sweet, it'd be a small bit or, you know, things like that. And I'm happy to say that I've lost about 10 pounds now, which is amazing. It obviously it doesn't sound like a whole lot, but for me, like it's my body changes that I've really seen. Like I, 
I definitely feel a lot slimmer. I feel a lot stronger. Before I could barely even do like five to 10 sit-ups on the little like um, incline sit-up machine and now I can do like 20 no problem so it's things like that it's like what my old trainer um, Nabat used to call it was like non-scale victories so um, the scale especially with my body type like I gain a lot of muscle um, before I lose fat um, which is great for me I mean I see it more in like my figure than I do on the weight so I'm totally fine with that or on the scale so that's basically what I was doing for the past two months and of course, if I had stuck to the list that my trainer gave me like 100%, I totally would have been able to lose probably more weight and looked a lot slimmer. But I'm really happy in the way that I did it because I know that even though I wasn't working out all the time, like sometimes I'd miss like a whole week of working out. Um, during the holidays, we didn't work out together for like 17 days. So things like that. My body didn't really take a hit for it because it was already used to training, it was used to just movements and I'm always just being mindful of trying to at least walk or do small little movements every part of my day and um, I just feel really good. Um, but yeah, that's the reality of it. I mean, I try to have at least, at least at the bare minimum, two meals a day. But I've been being more mindful about having like three and just kind of like healthy snacks and stuff. And I actually want to share, should I wait until what I eat in a day? I'm gonna just share it now. Why make you guys wait? I'll be right back. The biggest thing that I have had to learn <laughs> is that it is okay to have sweets and it is okay to indulge. Just make sure that they're not gonna set you back. So my trainer actually like made this whole plan for me, like went to Sprouts, which is where I usually shop and stuff, um, and found like healthy, healthy snack alternatives. So I'm huge on chocolate. And I straight up told my trainer like, I'm sorry, but there's no way I'm giving up chocolate. It's just not part of my DNA. <laughs> not possible so she found this um, I never would have found this if it wasn't for her but it's by the brand Jojo's Jojo originals and it's their guilt-free chocolate I've only found this at Sprouts I I'm sure Amazon has it too but I haven't checked if they do have it or I find another link I'll have it down below but this is the pistachios almonds and cranberries it's hundred and eighty calories five grams of protein and eight grams of sugar um, so that's really really good considering the size as well and it's quite rich too and honestly like this is even too much for me i usually break it in half and like have these kind of whenever i'm just really going through it so you know there's a little half here mmm so good and then there's also this brand called lily's i have to get anything above 70 percent dark chocolate because the other ones just have a lot of sugar and calorie but this is the extra dark 70 percent chocolate stevia sweetened vegan non-gmo no sugar added chocolate bar so whenever i'm craving kind of like a chocolate bar just plain chocolate i will have a square of this and I've had this since I think it was in December and I mean there's still a lot left so I only really have it when I'm like truly craving if there's one thing you get out of this video y'all if you are trying to go dairy free and you're like a huge you have like a huge sweet tooth or if you um, like really really love ice cream and you're finding it hard to like say no to it this will be your best friend okay I really hope they have this where you guys live because it has truly changed my life <laughs> This is the So Delicious Dairy-Free Cocoa Whip. It's the coconut whipped topping. I promise this is not an ad. I buy all of these from Sprouts on my own. They're quite expensive, but honestly, it's so worth it to me. Get this. For two tablespoons, um, it's 25 calories, one gram of fat, zero sodium, um, only four grams of carbs, and only two grams of sugar, which is amazing. So this literally has the same texture as ice cream, but I low-key, high-key like it more than ice cream. It looks exactly like it but it's it's completely dairy free so little things like that small changes just kind of switching out my cravings for something that's a lot healthier and will be better for me um has made like a huge difference and this i mean it's just great so i always have this in the freezer and um i showed you guys the ice cream earlier as well it's from the same brand i haven't tried that yet though now another tip that my trainer told me that i'm i still don't really completely stick to um, but I try to be more mindful of it is no sugar after 4 p.m. And sometimes I just stick with 6 p.m. because I'm a late sleeper anyways, so I feel like that's all right. You know, sometimes I'm still out until like past six. But anyways, no sugar, which means obviously like sweets and chocolate and stuff. No nut butters after 4 p.m. No fruit, although I can have berries. Berries are fine. Just things 
with high sugar content, including carbs, because carbs obviously have a lot, a lot of sugar content when once it's break down in your stomach. So no breads, no quinoa, no rice, no nothing. If you are going to choose to have it, just stop having it around like 4 to 5 to 6 p.m. Because what happens is that usually around those times, like you're starting to settle in, like you're home from work, you're not doing as much, you're probably sitting watching Netflix, like just kind of like doing very low energy things. And the whole purpose of sugar is to give you energy so that you can be sustained throughout the day, do your workouts, go to work, go on a walk, you know, things like that. And when you're not using that, when you're having a lot of sugar um, and a lot of like fruits, if you're having like mangoes and bananas and stuff, and then you're just sitting, all of that sugar is gonna be stored as fat eventually. So just try not to. So yeah, that has been another huge thing that I personally have never even heard before. So I thought that was like, something I wanted to share with you guys. But berries are fine, which is great. So I definitely indulge in blueberries. I love blueberries. Okay, now for those of you who actually stuck out till the end of this video, I'm going to share my before and afters from when I first started working out with my trainer to now. This was about a week ago. About a week ago, week ago, hey. Yeah, I took this like a week before my period and this may be TMI, I don't really care. Uh, anytime I'm about to get my period, literally that whole week before I'm about to get my period, I bloat up like a freaking fish. It's very annoying. I gain anywhere from like two to sometimes like seven pounds of water weight and it shows in my body. So it's crazy because I just got my period and anytime like I just get it, the bloat just goes away for that week, which is really strange. And then I'm like, my skinniest or my most slim right after my period ends. So right now I actually look a lot more different than when these photos were taken and my trainer even noticed that. She's like, whoa, you just got like skinnier over the weekend. That's so weird. And I explained why and she's like, okay, noted for the next uh, check-in. But these are the before and afters from the last month and I wore the same outfit so that you guys could kind of see the difference. I know the clothes are kind of tight, so don't mind. Um, but I really wanted to just kind of see the difference. And you can see it. it is crazy that that has only happened in 12 sessions of working out with my trainer and only following her um, recommendations for food like 50% of the time. So just imagine had I followed it like 100% of the time, like how different the results would be. My waist has slimmed down. I've actually lost a lot more inches off my waist than anywhere else on my body. Oddly enough, my thighs got a little bit bigger. I think that's because my thighs are quite strong and anytime that I work out with them, they gain muscle really quickly. And just in general, like you can't really see my face, but my face has definitely slimmed out from that photo as well. And I'm just so proud of myself. And I'm really happy and I just wanted to make this video to hopefully be a little bit of motivation for you guys to know that if you have been a yo-yo weight gainer and weight loser then you're not alone a lot of girls go through it i go through it and i feel like i'm finally at a point in my life where i just not that i don't care but i don't care as much and i don't let it kind of dictate how i live my life like regardless of what weight i am i know that i feel comfortable in my own skin and i know that if i do choose to lose weight it's because of my health and i want to just you know be better for myself so yeah i feel like that's basically the end of this video um i'm gonna finish my breakfast at 5 p.m and then i'm gonna have some veggies and some protein and just try to get some health back into me but i will do a what i eat in a day i will do an updated like what i ate in a day to lose weight i really hope i post this video <laughs> Uh, but at least you got a recipe for my protein shakes and you got a little bit of knowledge on like the treats I've been eating So I'm gonna go this video is already long for absolutely no reason Thank you for watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up If you guys want to see what I've been doing in the gym, I can definitely show that I think I may have showed some clips in this video But if you want to see more let me know and maybe I'll sh I'll bring you guys into the gym with me So yeah, just just Send me all your recommendations of what you want to see on this channel <laughs> in regards to fitness and maybe anything else. I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.